Welcome to the regularly scheduled meeting of the City Council. Please join me in saluting the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic, 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 republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. President. Councilor Azak. Um, I would just like to make a, uh, I need a moment of personal privilege, please. You may. <coughs> um, I would like to um, announce that right before Christmas, the city of Brockton lost a true champion, Madame Josette Dubois, who was a leader in the community, and she was a leader to the students at Brockton High School. She represented the Haitian community and was truly a lovely lady, and I would just like to take a moment of, si a moment of silence of prayer for her, please. My condolences to our family. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you Councilor. Peace. Mr. Clerk, item number one. Petition of Verizon New England and National Grid proposing to place two new jointly owned poles, 5S and 8S, on the eastly side of Ellis Street. These two poles installations are necessary in order to allow the removal of guy wires that are currently attached to the trees. Time having arrived, I declare this hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? Please step forward and give your name to the clerk. Hi, my name is Kelly Correa. I represent Verizon. And um, as the petition states, we're just looking to remove tree guys, so we'd like to place stub poles, and the guy wires will be attached to the pole rather than the trees. Thank you. Is there anyone else here in favor? Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Is there anyone here in opposition? Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Councilors, any questions? The vote to grant will be at the end. Thank you very much. Thank you. Communication from the Chief of Police requesting a transfer for the Police Department Fiscal 16 budget in the amount of $200,000 from full time to overtime to cover overtime expenditures as a result of vacancies. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the DPW commissioner requesting that the city council authorize the acceptance of a grant in the amount of $1,500 from the Republic Service Grant Fund to supplement the Mass Recycling Challenge Grant Program for the purpose of purchasing 15 ash uh, area trash containers. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the chief of police request an authorization to expend grant monies related to the fiscal 2016 state 911 department trained in emergency medical dispatch grant in the amount of $167,365.42. No Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the DPW commissioner requested that the City Council authorize the acceptance of a grant for the Mass Recycling Challenge Grant Program in the amount of $18,000 to purchase 18 public area recycling containers to aid in our recycling efforts. The containers will be placed in various parks and athletic fields in the city and will be maintained by the Department of Public Works Operation Division Refuse Section. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have an order of rules and regulations governing motor vehicles for hire under Chapter 159A for the carrying of passengers. Councilor Sullivan. Mr. President, I'm going to make a motion we take agenda items 14 through 18 collectively. I'm also going to ask that we act on the suspension of the rules as this is just a typical yearly house cleaning act that we do. Second. Second. Motion made and seconded to take items 14 through 18 collectively and to act on them tonight on the suspension of the rules. All those in favor? Opposed? Mr. Clerk, please read the, uh, the orders. Order assesses to act as agents of the City Council in matters of apportionment and betterments. Order clerk to give notice of hearings before Council. Order regulations governing the operation of hawkers and peddlers within the City of Brockton. An order for pawnbrokers are to deliver a list of purchases pawned articles to the Chief of Police. Uh, before we take a roll call, I need just to explain to the new councillors, as Councillor Sullivan said, these are just items that we have to approve at the beginning of each new, new term to allow some of the departments to do their, uh, to do their work. 
Ms. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Spadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The orders are adopted. An appropriation of $18,000 from the Mass Recycling Challenge Grant Program to Reference Department Recycling Containers Grant Fund. Refer to finance. Transfer of $200,000 from Police Department Personal Services other than overtime to Police Department Overtime. Refer to finance. That the City Council authorizes the acceptance of a grant any amount of $1,500 from Republic Services. Uh, refer to finance. An appropriation of $167,365.42 from Mass Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, State 911 Department Training Grant and EMD Regulatory Compliance Grant to City of Brockton Police Department, State 911 Training Grant and EMD Regulatory Compliance Grant Fund. Refer to finance. The granting of Verizon New England and National Grid proposing to place two new jointly owned poles, 5S and 8S, on the east side of Ellis Street in order to allow the removal of guy wires that are currently attached to trees. Question is on granting by hand vote. All those in favor? All those opposed? The uh, polls are approved. Any further business? Council Sullivan. Uh, Mr. President, I just wanted to remind you of the holiday next Monday night. I will I get my notes there. Thank you. Council Monaghan. Mr. President, moment of personal privilege. You may. I will be having a ward meeting this Thursday, January 14th at 7 p.m. at George's Cafe. Everyone is invited. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Mr. President, may I please have a moment? You may, Councillor Barnes. Thank you. I just want to remind uh, the councillors here and everyone in the gallery and folks at home that um, in conjunction with the uh, observance of Martin Luther King Day, there will be two celebrations in the city this year. Uh, the one is hosted by the Brockton Area Branch NAACP. And that will be at the Shaw Center on Saturday, starts at 9 o'clock at breakfast. And then Sunday, Temple Beth and Muna in concert with Messiah Baptist Church. They will also have a luncheon on Sunday. Excuse me. Uh, the buffet will begin at 12.15 with services and a recognition service uh, starting at 1.30 at uh, Messiah Baptist Church, 80 Legion Parkway. Thank you. Councillor Rodriguez. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Can I please have a moment of personal You may. Uh, to go along with uh, Council Barnes, there will be a third celebration for Martin Luther King in the city of Brockton. As a matter of fact, the city, as diverse as Brockton is, there's not a single event in the city on the day of the event itself. So this year, we are holding an event at, um, at the church hall at St. Edith Stein. It's an event open to the community, starting at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, going until 4 o'clock. We've got some wonderful programs with some young kids from the community to celebrate the and honor of this great man in, that we have in our community. And it's a shame that the city hasn't really embraced the day itself. I know we do a lot of uh, events around the day itself, but this is actually one of the uh, first time we used to do something at Massasoit, but that somehow died off. And uh, I'm pleased to inform the community and those that are watching us at this time that there was actually will be an event here in the city on the day of Martin Luther King. Thank you, great, sir. thank you. Any other business? So, councilors, just to remind you, because of the Martin Luther King holiday, our finance meeting will be next Tuesday evening, January 19th at 7 o'clock. Till then, we're adjourned. <laughs>